Hey, what's going on guys? Tony here, CCXRC. Uh, we're just getting the live stream going. I know it's been, uh, I missed the live stream that I typically do either Monday or Tuesday night. People were asking me about it. Uh, I've been under the weather and just some stuff going on, which we'll talk about in a little bit here. I'm going to give people a second to jump on here, guys. And uh, while we do that, I'm also going to go ahead and get the live stream going on my computer here as well. And so that I can track the uh, the comments and the people that are in the comment section. So, if you just mind, uh, bear with me for one second. We'll get things going. All right, I think I think everything is working. Kyle's just jumping in. He says he's on his lunch break. <laughs> I hear you, man. I'm uh, actually getting ready to do lunch here, so I'm only going to be on for a quick little bit. Uh, the title is Bad Breaks, Bad Weather, uh, But Good Times, and so that's what we want to talk about. Uh, so I've been busy. I had my buddy come in from uh, Nashville, and he's been in town, so that's kept me a little bit busy. We did run some RCs, and I did get some video footage for you guys, but... Uh, because we were hanging out, I haven't got to edit it yet. So I do have like three or four videos that I have in the hopper waiting to edit. Uh, but I've been not feeling well. That's the main problem is that uh, I did do the live videos because I was just, my face was all swollen. I just felt terrible. And so, uh, yeah, we're going to, uh, yeah, I, I just couldn't do it. So People were asking about it. I thought I'd just jump on here. Explain why, because my buddy's coming back through. He's in the military and he's been doing some training and stuff. So he's popping back through on his way back as he's heading to the airport. They're letting him out early. He's going to be here again tonight. So I figured I better get a live video in if I'm going to get anything in right now. Uh, I'll probably record some more today. And then I'm just going to have a whole bunch to just sit down and edit and stay up. Maybe watch the Olympics and edit. So uh, Steve's in there. Hey, what's going on, man? Revan's sons. Yeah, man. Sticker bomb. How's it going? So, uh, yeah, I've, I've got some things to talk about here. Sticker Bomb got sticker destroyed because some uh, Revan Sons put um, titanium, I think, or aluminum or steel trail arms on here, and there's no beef tubes in the axles. And so the flux point becomes this little axle point here where the two screws go in. In fact, it's broken. The two screws are what are holding this in. It can't come out. But that part of the plastic is so thin because they put the screws through to hold the trailing arms, which I just think is kind of a flaw in design. Uh, but that's something else. They should have maybe molded that right in instead of making it have screws hold it in place. But whatever, this has got to be taken down, taken apart. I'm getting beef tubes for this, beef tubes for uh, the uh, son of a digger because it's definitely going to need metal uh, trailing arms and beef tubes. This will need some uh, upgraded uh, the X Duty MIP drive shafts. I think I'm going to put in here as well, and they'll have two really rocking trucks. Uh, and I need to get the hardened steel diff, so it's going to be expensive to get them up and running, but it'll be worth it. So, lots of breaks. That was the thing. Bad breaks. So I've got this is broken. The son of a digger is fine looking, but the diffs are just destroyed. And I think it's really the, um, you know, the outdrive or the ring gear that goes around the diff. And it's just clicking. And so I think, one, it needs shims. But this one, the front end, when you're breaking, it's clicking. So I just all around, I'm going to get heavy duty diffs and... Um, the bevel gear set for this with the uh, outdrive the ring gear sorry so but yeah so lots of carnage for those that are just jumping in uh this kind of put me out of the racing that was the other thing that i did i do have some race footage coming for you guys the other bad break that wasn't a break was my buddy came with me we spent six hours out with uh, no limits rc and newport news at the hobby town there uh, and racing the monster trucks. So a lot of fun. Love their racing. Uh, I think it's a good time. It's a good family friendly, fun atmosphere. And uh, so at the end of that, I got home and uh, I didn't dump the footage right away, which I typically do, but my buddy was in town. And so I left it. And then the next day, I went out and I filmed the video uh, for my buddy's scale garage, Peter. 
uh, the RC Spotlight that I did, which if you haven't seen that, you should check it out. Um, I see some comments popping in. I'll jump on those in just a second. But uh, anyway, so when I went to get the memory card in and I put it into the card reader, plugged it into the computer, it showed up as my Lumix, which is my Panasonic camera. And then all of a sudden, it just... I was trying to click on it and see the files and it wouldn't show anything. Then it just pinwheeled and then it showed up as LDLHH or some weird letter configuration and there was nothing on it except for some like executable files and so uh, lost everything that was on it and so I tried a whole bunch probably 20 different software from free to paid even uh, I ended up paying like 40 bucks for a software that, that actually worked that got the files off that could read them it could show the file sizes but when I did that all the files were just black black video and so then I was like, well, what can I do with that? So these are corrupted in some way. They're, they're writing as movie files, but I shot in MP4 format. And just writing MP4 is the, the, uh, the file name didn't work. Sometimes that works. And so somewhere the, the, the file has, you know, beginning and end code, and it was just messed up. And so I was able to find an online uh, mp4repair.org or something like that that you p I paid a bunch of money to get that footage back for the No Limits uh, event and um, the uh, Peter's Scale Garage. So it has a little bit of a funky look to it because it's still not perfect. It read it as, well it was weird because the the footage was reading as 59, uh, like 60 frames per second for some reason, but when you actually drop it in, it wasn't at that. So everything was sped up, and so I had to then export the audio separately to get that full thing because it was truncating the file for some reason. But I could spit out the audio from QuickTime, and then I could go in and I could stretch the video by basically doing 50% because it was just... Anyway, it was a total mess. Uh, so it cost me another 180 bucks for them to repair those files for me. I think it was like 70 minutes of footage. And so they do it by the minute, but also the file type. The stinky thing is that they round up, and so those races were short. And so it was rounding up like 20-second clips to a minute. Um, and so, but I, I had to do it. And so I bit the bullet, and uh, it was the only place where it actually show a picture. And so even that, I was just, you know, they would let you do a preview before you actually paid to do it and it was the only thing that was able to extract the videos and so yeah yeah that was uh that was painful um so there's a bunch of people in here uh i know right the axle is still straight i don't know how it still is um every time i did that on my yeti the second i put these metal trailing arms in guys if you do this you need to get beef tubes. Um, the second I did it on my Yeti, I busted three axles and bent it. And each time cost me like 60 bucks to repair. Uh, so this time I'm just going to get beef tubes. I'm not sure if I'm doing it in the, in the front as well or not. I probably should. I probably should. Let's just say that. So I'll probably have to get four sets for the trucks. Uh, so yeah. Uh, Ray is in here. How's it going? Josh Bar Harbor Basher. Yeah, man, it totally stinks. So, but I'm keeping my head up. Like I said, it's just I've been sick. I have my friend in town. And so I've been just off the game, going from just, you know, hammering it hard to just kind of the last week was kind of in some ways throwaway, uh, which stinks because it was also very costly for entering the race and all that. And I needed to be making the videos to get some of the, the footage on. I do have three unboxings to do sitting up on the bench as well that I'll try and get to for you guys. Lots coming. Man, it's just like crazy. So, um, so Troy Speed is asking what kind of tires are on the truck. These are really tough looking. These are the J Concept uh, Fire, or these are the Renegades. I have the Firestorm on my other ones. These have a really deep tread on them. And so they weren't actually great on the cement. They weren't terrible. I hated actually running them on the cement. It kind of, you can see where it actually chewed them up a little bit. Um, so I don't know how many cement races we're going to have, but it could be a few. Uh, but yeah, so that was the answer Troy Speed's question. Steve DeClark says he's waiting on a couple parts to get here. 
And he'll start his monster truck build. That's going to be awesome, man. Uh, Steve DeClark doesn't know what I'm talking about. Oh, uh, well, I was talking just about crazy uh, craziness. File footage, file formats, all that video stuff. And things that I've dealt with just because I come from a video background. So I knew kind of some places to go and things to try. And I have software that usually works to you know get stuff off the card. And, he, and the thing is, the software I had is usually great for pictures. I haven't really had many times where I needed to pull video back off. And so there's been one time where we pulled a battery and somebody dropped the battery out of a camera before they uh, stopped recording and finalized the file. And that was a really expensive one. So, uh, Revan Sons RC says beef would have been next in line, all four corners for sure. Yeah, yeah, and he's saying these are the soft tires. So he's the one that I got the uh, this truck from. He did an awesome job with it. It handles really, really well. Um, so the beef tubes, you know, and, and I could tell I knew going in, honestly, that I'd done some damage to it at the last race. Um, and so it was kind of already cracked, but I didn't realize it until I got there and it was too late to fix it. And so I knew that at any point, if I just didn't land right, and I was coming, trying to come from behind. And anyway, I did get some of that footage. One of the reasons that I paid out the nose to get that footage back guys it was the first run footage with the son of a digger too uh plus my buddy had been out there all day filming i just felt bad the no limits people i want to show what they're doing because they're really bringing some awesome stuff here uh in the wake of not having rc tracks um you know they're setting up mobile and they're going to different areas so that different people can uh, can take part in it so i think next is in richmond um, and there's also going to be a Showtime race they'll be at in Richmond. So, yeah. How's it going, Rick? Uh, first time watching. That's awesome, man. Um, Bar Harbor Basher, taking videos takes the fun out of it. It sure can, man. Um, that's why I don't run video every time I go out and, and run. I don't take video. And so people ask, hey, where's, you know, wh why have you been running the X-Max? And it's like, well, I have been. <laughs> I just haven't been filming it. Um, because I also do more damage to my vehicles most of the time when I'm filming. Because, uh, one, I go bigger when I'm filming. Two, uh, I, I hold the camera and the thing, the, um, the little monopod. Or I've actually been holding, let me grab this thing. This guy here with my big camera on it I can kind of hold it with the bottom fingers like so and then trigger here I don't have a controller oh I do have one and so if you picture this as being the camera I would turn it to whatever way I wanted and adjust the height so it's pointing the right way and so then I've got this huge but I'm just kind of using my two fingers here to hold it and move it but I get better footage with that camera than my iPhone, and so I've been messing around with different ways. I also have a shoulder mount, but I'm not a, a small guy, and so it doesn't fit very well. <laughs> uh, Barbara Basher saying he did shorten up some Yeti XL axles that could take whatever. I bet, man. Um... So, Steve Clark, what tires do you like better, the Renegades or the Firestorms? Uh, I have the Firestorm Blue Compound. I love those tires. Uh, these are definitely going to be better in the dirt because of the thick treads. Um, but the other ones just look so scale. That's what I like about them. Um, do I have any Arma cars and what kind if you do? Troy Speed is asking. The only one I have is the Sentin 4x4. Uh, I kind of want to get a Creighton V3, but now Traxxas has those new cars coming out too, and I'm kind of... I kept, I keep saying the arm is the next one in line, but it's, it's tough. Uh, do I know what date on the Richmond Monster Truck race is James Price? Offhand, I don't. Um, give me a second. I can probably look at the calendar and tell you. I thought it was like March 10th. But I don't know if that's a Saturday or not. 
March. Looks like I think it's March 10th. But if you want, you can go to the No Limits. Uh, you should anyway. Go to the No Limits Facebook page and uh, ask to join the group. And uh, they've got on there the listings. There's a whole graphic with the the race dates. Uh, Bar Harbor Bash is saying he's had a ton of irritating stuff happen when he's uh, trying to film and gave it up. I totally understand it. Uh, RC Hobby is saying he's taking a break, building tracks, tons of work by himself. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, <laughs> he's taking a, a chill. Hey, it's like 70 degrees or something like out outside here. Uh, I thought I'd just give you guys something different. Uh, and, you know, I don't know, I have my TV going in the background. Maybe it wasn't going. But, um, just to have a little ambiance because it's just weird when it's just straight black uh just somewhere different to be than up in the uh, the studio area plus i've got boxes i've got to unbox and i don't want to move a lot of that stuff so uh troy speed rc says use a head strap he got off amazon um i have something like that but i use a clip and it goes on a hat speaking of hats oh where'd my hat go oh yeah I just got some Venom swag, uh, factory team stuff for uh, shirts and stuff like that. But um, I, sh I should wear it more often. My hair is kind of trashed anyway because I've been welding, and so I've had the welding helmet on, uh, which I'm just getting into welding. I really look forward to making my first something. I don't know what I'm going to make with it yet. Not one of these frames, because these are way too difficult. <laughs> I saw what went into making the son of a digger frame, and I ain't no way I'm going to start with that. I'll do something simple. RC obviously says it's 75 degrees there in Kansas. Yeah, the problem is here, it's just still, it's, uh, still so swampy out there. It's like a sponge. Uh, because we're, I don't know, like sea level, but we're also right by a swamp, and... Um, yeah, it's just when it rains like it's been. That's the other thing. Bad weather, which has just been raining ever since uh, the racing on Saturday. And so, you know, just doing whatever we can to kind of work on things in the house. But again, just haven't been feeling well. How's it going, Tank? He's going to be live tonight. Uh, I don't know that I'll be able to join. I don't make that many scale things, but I'll try and watch. I do have my buddy in town, so we'll see if I can break away or not to get on. Um... Yeah, Bar Harbor Basher, I totally get you, man. It would be so much better to have a cameraman. <laughs> uh, Troy Speed RC saying he went with Traxxas for two years, went to Armour, never looked back. A Creighton, you've got a Creighton? That's awesome, man. So, I do have... Um, I do have a crawler I'm gonna build. So Steve DeClark saying build one. It's not a straight crawler, it's more of a scale truck. I don't know where the body is. I have one of those like Jeep concept bodies. I don't remember what they're called. It's not an FJ, it's a, what is there? Anyway, whatever the, the crazy looking Jeep is. And so I have the parts from I finally got the axle parts in for my metal axle that'll go on the mud truck. So I'll be able to take the stock axle back and reassemble and kind of build a truck out of all of those pieces that I have. Uh, Revan says, nice day. He sat down, plugged in the mini quad. Now it's raining. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, I've got my Revo ready to go again. My buddy and I were bashing the two, that and the X-Max at the same time, which is a lot of fun. I stuck on the Revo because it's a little bit harder to control because the front end's so light on it, and the X-Max can just take a beating. And so he's running that, and I was running the uh, the Revo, and all of a sudden my it just started going vroom, vroom, and not going anywhere. Turns out luckily that it just the motor had slipped. I maybe I know I Loctited it, but maybe I didn't crank it down enough, so it kicked out, and so I just had to literally push it back in place and screw it back down, and so. Uh, I did some test runs with it. It's feeling good. And uh, I actually put 6S in it. And I didn't really ever punch it hard enough to know because I was just with the body off. And I was trying to be careful. But it feels very, very quick.
Bar Harbor saying if I pay for shipping, you'll send me one of the rigs to play with. Dude, we have to talk. That sounds amazing. Who pays for what I break? Because <laughs> I don't know that I'll be able to fix it. Um, same with Traxxas stuff. Uh, Megasty15 saying that. He's saying it sounds like he got rid of all his Traxxas stuff except for the X-Max. Uh, and he's got a bunch of armor. Turn into pretty special stuff. That's cool, man. Hey, Dark Gods. How's it going in Italy? Is it evening there? Shen saying we all wish we had a, a cameraman. Yeah, man. Oh, Steve. Yeah, man. All right. I just need to go over to Facebook, man. Tank says you just got to learn how to drive to stop breaking things. I know. Kind of takes the fun out of it, though. Not really. Uh, it really does come down to uh, when you're holding on to the camera, and I'm also watching the, the camera. Um, you know, it's tough. So, I also try and backflip everything. <laughs> That's part of the problem. Uh, Dark God says, get the Arma Outcast. Everybody that I know that has had the Outcast has been breaking it like crazy. How's it going, Ashmeister559? Uh, RC Hobby says he just got done making a ridge crest. That's cool. Oh, you broke your transmitter. That stinks, man. Earl RC is asking, how's the day going so far? Just getting up and started yourself. Man, it's going pretty good. Uh, here in a second, we're going to take my son out. I'm going to take my son out to eat. Um, he loves the... Uh, he loves the... Uh, the hotcakes at McDonald's. So it's not my favorite place to go, but it's a treat for him to get the hotcakes. So I'll take him up there and and get them for him, but, um, yeah, so, <laughs> okay, so people say, get the shot, broke my RC, uh, Wow, so somebody's talking, Megacy saying it's the same size as the X-Max. What's he talking about? Somebody made two Typhon chassis. Okay, so you're doing some crazy building with yours, too. Yeah, Josh, we'll have to talk, man. Um, I'd be interested in doing that. Uh, I'd be curious what shipping costs on something like that. So I'll have to, I'll have to figure it'll be two-way shipping, so I'll have to see if I have that in the budget right now. Especially after I just spent 200 bucks on the uh, <laughs> the footage. Eddie Castro, Axial Yeti XL, any thoughts? Is it a good buy? You should talk to Bar Harbor Basher. He, um, yeah, in fact, he's commenting right now. So there you go. It's a really, really solid platform. Like many RCs, it does need some tuning. Uh, and Bar Harbor Basher knows best how to tune those things, uh, especially the diffs. All right. So, let's see, comments coming in. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, so I guess um, the next things that I'll be doing here is I've got unboxings that I have to get done. I don't have to. I want to get them done because I can bang those out pretty quickly. Uh, and then I have to do run footage for all those. Um, one of them will be footage. It's going to be a 360 camera that I'm going to unbox and show off. Uh, some more VR stuff. Uh, and then I'm going to do uh, a boat, another boat, and then uh, a fun truggy, kind of like the Traxxas Erevo or um, the uh, others. I think the Magic E5... HX or something like that. Looks pretty, pretty sweet. 
I already opened the box and showed it to the people on Patreon. Um, but I love the look of it. It's got a pretty wicked look. So I actually almost bought that before when I was looking. They had the um, the red cab version of that, like at our um, at our hobby shop at Debbie's RC World, and I looked at it for so long and wanted to get it and just never did. So that'll be a fun basher. I'm pretty sure of it. I need to get out in the yard. I need to work on the track some more. Um, that's for sure. I want to get my neighbor over here with his tractor, but I've also got to buy some more dirt, I think, so I can have a few more jumps. Because I'm doing a lot of the, the run footage now in my backyard, which is great to be able to do. They're nothing like the jumps that I, go, I get, though, at the, uh, the BMX trails. Um, and so then I revert to just kind of like jumping off the kids' fort and stuff like that, just for durability testing. So... Yeah, so that's kind of where, where I'm at. I'm going to have more coming, guys. Oh, I did showing off the low C. Busted the servo in that thing. I think I messed up the gears in it. So uh, the DBXLE is out of commission for the time being, which is a total bummer. <laughs> uh, I, I did hit a curb, so, you know. The servo saver that I put in that broke last time apparently did not save the servo, and so it's just frustrating. Um, yeah. So, I'm hoping that there's somebody here that crashed theirs and totally destroyed theirs and might be looking to just sell it because the cost of fixing it's going to be almost uh, because of all the parts that he destroyed. It's going to be pretty close to near buying a new one. Uh, so he may just look to offload it and I might do that for parts and all that, but he may have destroyed his servo too, based on what he did. Uh, Dark God says in Italy at 7 PM. That's cool, man. Uh, RC hobbies, uh, or Troy, our speed, our Troy speed RC is asking what is my favorite brand? Um, my favorite brand is Coca-Cola. I love some Coca-Cola. But, uh, for RC, um, I don't have a favorite brand at all. I have Axials, I have Traxxas, I have two Losi, um, I only have one Tamiya. I, I probably need to get more of that. I want to get a Claude Buster here. That is honestly looks like my favorite racing that they do at No Limits is the vintage class. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of where it's at. Um, I, I don't really, I'm not a brand specific guy. I'll drive anything that I find enjoyable. Um, so. I haven't had enough armor to know about them. Maybe I would change my opinion. But, you know, I have the Axials. I have a bunch of problems with these. These out of the box are not any good. Um, they're slow. They're no fun. You have to upgrade them. And then once you upgrade it for speed, then everything else starts blowing out on it. And so you're basically building a new truck. So uh, that to me isn't yay Axial. Um, although I love their platform. Uh, the SCX-10s are awesome. I think out of the box they're very drivable, but almost everybody customizes them, and mine is hardly an Axial anymore. Um, I do, oh, I do have the Traxxas TRX-4. I forgot about that one. That's um, The Traxxas ones are the ones that I keep pretty stock, I'll be honest. I don't do much with them. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know what that's saying, but... Um, yeah. The, um, what else do I have? I mean, that's, that's the main. The low C I run pretty stock as well. So, Bar Harbor saying, why don't I, uh, let him chop the DBXLE into a fifth scale stunt truck? Well, that sounds interesting. I'd rather it be chopped into a short course truck somehow, an electric. I don't know why they didn't come out with a fifth scale electric, why they went with seventh or sixth or whatever they came out with. But, um, 
yeah, I don't know. Uh, the one thing I do love the brand on, though, guys, is uh, Venom. Their batteries, I'm a big fan of their batteries, and I have been since I started, before I even got this, uh, the, the factory team sponsorship. Uh, so, <laughs> that was, uh, I actually did a lot of bias batteries, too. And so, same brand, uh, Atomic RC, Venom, but yeah. Techno, people are saying. So, I haven't really had Arma or Techno, so those are the two that people really fight for they they're die hard when you know you get in here and um so it's funny that those are the two i haven't had yet so i need to i guess expand broaden my horizons and try those i said horizons i guess they, that wouldn't be horizon would it that'd be horizon hobby so i need to try other rc cars but yeah i'm not traxxas fanboy but i have them I just am not willing to bash them like everybody else. So I think they make a pretty solid RC car. I think the X-Max is my favorite one since I bought it. They, and I haven't had anything else that's taken that from the top spot. Because of the size and what it's able to do and how little you actually break it for the size and the crashing and everything I do with it. But now I have this Revo, but it's, it's not stock because it didn't have a motor. It was a roller, but I really love it too, so it's kind of hard to say. Um, but I'm, I'm really enjoying that Revo as well. Bar Harbor Bash, are you saying Traxxas is the worst? <laughs> or Traxxas fanboys? Uh, Steve DeClark says he's getting a cloud buster on a trade for HPI Blitz. Awesome, man. That's very cool. I'm missing some. Dark God says I don't like Arma low end RCs. I need to talk to you, Bar Harbor Basher. Well, I'll, I'll get on, um, hang out with you or something. And we'll talk. <laughs> but these are a lot of fun. I really do like this M SMT-10 series. I like the, the solid axle monster truck. It's what I like. Uh, it doesn't have to be this. I love that they do the whole chassis. The one RC that I'm really, really wanting right now is um, a freestyle RC. The ZRD chassis that they've got. With their axles, their transmission, that thing's like a tank. Um, so, I, I'm keeping my eye open for that. I know it's it's a costly endeavor to get into that, but that's one thing that I'd love love to own. Uh, Steve DeClark says that's oh, Bar Harbor saying axle R and D is a joke, <laughs> an effing joke. Uh, I, I mean, they did some cool stuff with this. I just don't know who they thought the market was when they made it a slow 27-turn uh, motor. That the same one that they put in the uh, SCX-10 Jeep 4x4, the Rubicon. Like, somebody's going to see this and they're gonna, a kid's going to want to get this out of the box and jump it. And so I bought something. I remember before I really get, got into the hobby grade stuff, I saw those BMX trails that I go to now, and I'm like, man, I'd love to jump these. And so I got my bike out, and I hurt myself. I said, you know, I'd love to jump these with something that won't hurt me. And so I was in Target, and they had these what looked like really awesome monster trucks for like 100 bucks. And so I was like, oh, sweet. That should be fun. And it couldn't even go in the grass. It like couldn't drive through the grass. I'm like, what a disappointment. It's so slow. I mean, if I would spent when this came out that 350 or 400 bucks that these were and then hit the throttle on that on a 2S LiPo I'd have been pissed I mean I would have been just mad because of how slow it is I 
would expect it to be able to do little jumps and stuff. But um, once you upgrade it, it's pretty cool. But then you've got to keep upgrading the snot out of it. And so <laughs> before you know it, you've just dropped a ton of money on top of it. So when it dropped down to the 330, then I was willing to, okay, you know, I'm saving 70 bucks. That'll be towards the things that I want to put into it. But, um, you know, $100 in, in tires to get bigger tires like these. Um, the, the drive shafts you're going to want to get to, as well as the metal gears. That's another 120 bucks. That's 200 bucks more. Anyway, just it adds up. Now I need, once you put the more power into it with the $150 um, brushless system, then you need to get the hardened diffs and then you need to get the beef tubes and it goes on so you'll be looking at over a thousand bucks into one of these pretty quick um oh okay i get it dark god saying is he likes the track star c but hates the fanboys i get you man uh ray's asking So Bar Harbor saying you could do that with the pro line body. That's be interesting. The motor in this is stupid. I mean, I love it. Um, Ray saying, do you remember telling me the Ray has a Rampage XTE one fifth scale electric? That's true. I forgot about that. I should know why Losi didn't do it when they announced theirs. Why did they not make it so that it could use the parts that are already available for their 5T? And so they went a little bit smaller, and so it's a whole new part that we're going to have to wait for to come out. Um, the X-Max Mega C15 is the only Traxxas car halfway worth what it is. Um, I'd definitely say it's definitely worth what it is. So a lot of people complain about the price on that one. I think that 589 or 569 or whatever it is, 549 that they're coming out with a new Revo for, it is a pretty good price as well for what you get. Um, Shan RC, it's okay to bash when you have a few RCs, but when you have a bunch, like 50, you can't break so many. You go both trying to fix them all. Yeah. Yeah, there's too many here to try and fix. So it's kind of like, what do I let sit? <laughs> I need to start selling some of these is what I need to do. Uh... JJ's, what's up, man? Just got done work going to drive your old school Revo 3.3. That's cool, man. Shen RC says, I think they wanted to compete with a stock Cloudbuster. That's probably true, man. That's, yeah. That could be true. That's about the speed they were getting. Except that this is so much bigger and heavier, it doesn't do the wheelies and stuff that the Cloudbuster did. Alright, so I definitely have a bunch of stuff to get to with these. I'm going to want to try and use some of my day. Oh, so on top of all the other stuff, on Sunday morning, so Sunday was just a bad day because um, I got up, I, I play guitar um, at my church. And so I got up early for that, and I went out to get some stuff ready. And I hear this, like, noise. Like, what you hear right now, kind of like this this peeing noise. The water sound. Hear it? And you probably heard it this whole time and wondered what's going on. So I have the saltwater fish tanks out here. Well, and one of them overflowed all over. Gallons and gallons of water out here in the garage. And it's saltwater, which is just the worst. Uh, so corrosive. Um... And so I get, but I can't do anything with it. I've now I've got an auto top off system. It's put in fresh water, and totally mess up my mix in there, shock things, my anemones like freaking. I don't know where it is. Uh, it went into hiding, or you know I thought it died. Uh, the fish I'm looking for them. They're hiding, uh, but I have to leave it until later, you know. And so uh, after everything gets done. Um, my buddy goes out to eat. He went and saw my uh, my mom and everybody because we went to high school together and all that. Knew my mom real well. She's down here. 
So then I finally get to do the water, go and film the thing with Peter, and then I'm fixing that, but then that's when I found out that the files died. I had just broken these RC cars, knew that I needed new diffs and all this stuff. It was just like piling on, just crazy stuff. And then I got sick. I woke up <laughs> sick on Monday morning. I uh, couldn't do the live on either Monday or Tuesday. So it was just nuts, and uh, we've had rain. It's just been funny. But, you know, not letting it get you down. You just kind of just got to laugh it off, man. You can't let things get too down on you. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, a couple couple things in here. I got to get going in a minute, but um, i take my son to get something to eat. He's probably starving. Uh, by the way, the RC hoodie for sale in the description box. Not like this one. Um, these ones, I literally bought this one at the Target, and then I took it to uh, an embroiderer, and I just had her put it on for me. I, had, I did a, several of them when I first got it for my kids and stuff. Uh, so, yeah, I don't, I don't have these ones. I have regular pullover hoodies on there for sale, uh, as well as T-shirts and things like that. Um... Steve Clark saying the only thing you really keep is the chassis on the SMT10. Yeah, and the axles, but you want to stiffen those out. Um, I guess, Ray, if people were interested, I know one other person's interested in a zippered hoodie like this. Um, I might be able to, if I get enough orders, I can get an order in with the embroidery person. But So it's the cost of the sweatshirt, then it's like 6 bucks to get the embroidery or something like that if I have enough of them. Uh, Shen RC is asking how fast this goes now. I would guess probably 25, 30-ish. It's still not super fast. Uh, Bar Harbor Basher saying the Axial developers went flying past. Our spawn on it's mechanical. Okay. Actually, developers are spot on. It's the mechanical obsolescence that they thrive on, but now Hoppy Go can't clean up the mess. Actually, will lose, or they need to seriously step up their game. So that's what Bar Harbor Basher's saying. How's it going? Cody Spring just jumped in. Uh, RC Hobby saying, am I not happy with my SMT-10? No, I'm happy with it. I, I love the platform, like I said. Uh, I've got three of them, so it just needs work out of the box. I'm keeping one of them kind of close to stock, stock tires, all that. I did put a, a, a small, uh, a small brushless motor in it to make it a little bit faster for the kids, but not a huge one, because nothing else can handle it in it. So, um, Bar Harbor Basher, how about? FIS for WS success. Not sure what that what he's asking. Uh, honest question: Does any of you know if it's possible to turn a wraith into a cheap monster truck? Seems possible. I mean, you could take the wraith part if you got a. Um, they make the SCX10 rails. If you take that, then there's a kit that they make to drop that down into a monster truck. And then you've got the axles for it, the solid axle. Uh, Goosen Crazy, how's it going? Yeah, the wraith axles, and, and pretty much is basically what this is with the, the cage on it. So if you actually just took your wraith and you, you could buy a cage like this if you wanted and turn it into uh, something like this. All right, guys, take care. Bar Harbor Bash, I see you're taking, taking off too. Uh, I need to go, guys. I need to get uh, some lunch in my son's belly uh, but I have a bunch of videos for you guys I got the no limits videos come in I've got uh, the JLB J3 speed I took that out and double flipped it for fun in the backyard and some other things so 
Uh, there's my buddy right there. Are you ready to eat? Are you finish your uh, your Lego? You want to come show everybody real quick? No, bring it out here. Show everybody. He doesn't want to come out here. He just finished his Ninjago Lego. He's got the green dragon. And so I'm going to be right in there, guys. Uh, so anyway, take care, guys. Have fun, RC, and lots of stuff coming for you. Be on the lookout for it. If you haven't seen it yet, be sure to check out the video, the RC Spotlight with Peter's Garage. We'll catch you next time. Have fun, RC, and guys.